Michelle Yeoh is 59 and still doing her own stuns and will continue to do them for a very long time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're discussing the rise of Michelle Yeoh. The one role that I will be most remembered for, I hope it is in the future, that I haven't done it yet. For this video, we're looking at the iconic action star's decades-long career, chronicling her journey to becoming one of Hollywood's latest leading ladies. What's your favorite Michelle Yeoh performance? Let us know in the comments. Michelle Yeoh was born in Ipoh, Perak in 1962. The star loved ballet growing up and even attended the Royal Academy of Dance in London when she was a teenager. I had always dreams to have my own ballet school, you know, and so I went to England to study ballet and dance. But after injuring her back, Yeoh's dreams of becoming a professional dancer were put on hold. Still, those dance skills and ability to quickly learn choreography would come in handy as she made a major career change. Because of the years of training as a ballerina, as a dancer, I was able to learn movements in a very short period of time. In 1983, the multi-talented Yeo was named Miss Malaysia and subsequently won other pageant titles as well. Not long after, she landed a TV commercial with the legendary Jackie Chan. And that led to her signing an acting contract with Hong Kong's D&B Films. You know when you're 22, you're thinking, you're not thinking. You're like, why not? Going by the stage name Michelle Kahn, her first film credit was 1984's The Owl vs. Bumbo. It was a relatively small role, but the budding actress began making a name for herself in a male-dominated industry. I mean, it's kind of cool to have a tough girl next to you who is still feminine and playful and all that. By 1985, she was a leading lady in Yes, Madam, and had begun honing her fighting skills, actually performing her own stunts in the movie. <laughs> went on to appear in more Hong Kong action films, including Royal Warriors, Magnificent Warriors, and Easy Money. But she went on to wed the head of the D&B company, Dixon Poon, and left acting behind. After the couple divorced a few years later, Yo returned to the industry and starred in 1992's Police Story 3 Super Cop with Jackie Chan. I was swinging at the side of trucks. I was riding a motorcycle onto a moving train. I was doing the most insane stunts. The action film gave her the opportunity to be Chan's equal rather than a sidekick or damsel in distress. And her talent shone through brilliantly. <laughs> Roughly four years into her revived action career, Yo suffered a serious injury during the filming of The Stunt Woman, and it took a toll on her psyche. While in recovery, she questioned whether or not she would or should continue performing. <laughs> but luckily for us, she then met with one of her biggest fans, none other than filmmaker Quentin Tarantino. His enthusiasm and respect for her body of work re-energized her and inspired her to keep acting. I should get started, huh? <laughs> Yo made her way into the world of Hollywood via the 1997 Bond flick Tomorrow Never Dies. Her role as Colonel Wei Lin was a refreshing take on the iconic Bond girl, paving the way for future female characters in the franchise to be more independent. We shouldn't just be the beautiful, sexy creatures in, next to James Bond. We should be as good physical-wise or smart as James Bond. But her big breakout came three years later, in Ang Lee's critically acclaimed Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which earned her a BAFTA nomination for Best Actress. For those who weren't familiar with the genre, it was a thrilling introduction to Chinese wuxia films. The movie continues to be celebrated, and for good reason. The depth and nuance Yeo brought to Yushu Lian showcased her stellar dramatic acting. <laughs> She notably flexed that muscle again in 2005's harrowing Memoirs of a Geisha and The Lady in 2011, to name a few. Yo also reprised her role as Lian in the 2016 sequel Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, delighting fans everywhere. You are needed, and you're here. 
Your skill and courage are not forgotten. Michelle Yeoh didn't stop at the drama genre, though. Her first big foray into comedy was the groundbreaking Crazy Rich Asians in 2018. Though it is a romantic comedy, Yo plays the more serious character of Eleanor Sung Young, Nick's elegant, disapproving mother. I know this much. You will never be enough. But by diversifying her filmography, the actress got more opportunities to explore the genre. Director Paul Feig saw Yo's inner comedian, and she proved him right with her work in the instant holiday classic Last Christmas. Your mother again? I cursed the day I was born. Me too. Huh, funny note. Yo is part of the long-awaited movement in Hollywood to include more Asian actors and creators, both in front of and behind the camera. We're not desperate. We will fight to make sure that we are represented in the right way. And so I've been waiting a long time to do this. Her roles in mainstream blockbusters further proved that audiences crave diversity and appreciate seeing themselves on screen. In addition to her work advancing Asian representation in the media, Yo is passionate about many causes. The star uses her role as a United Nations Development Program goodwill ambassador and overall platform to make a difference in the world. Working together, I have a better chance to be able to raise the awareness that is necessary. I can come out and tell a bigger audience what is going on, why, why it is so important that we need to continue this kind of work. She notably works to raise awareness about inequality, poverty, and climate change, and advocates for things like animal conservation and disaster relief. We should make it um, our commitment, our responsibility, to do whatever it is right so that when we hand the planet back to them, they will understand that it is also their right, their privilege to keep it and make it a better place. Michelle Yeoh is no longer pigeonholed to just one genre. The actress played a recurring character in Star Trek Discovery. For Captain Philippa Giorgio, she kept her own accent, which fans absolutely loved. Mr. Yanuzi, context our fleet command, send an encoded message. Tell them we have engaged the Klingons. A spin off series starring Yo is also reportedly in the works, but that's not all. In 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Yo made a brief but important appearance as Alita O'Gord, a crucial character in the comics. Yondu, daughter, I will see you in the stars. In 2021, she had a significant part in Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which notably starred a predominantly Asian cast. Yo was in her element as the graceful Ying Nan, guardian of the mythical Ta Lo and aunt to the titular hero. It is all a part of who you are. Stop hiding, nephew. It only prolongs the pain. The early 2020s also brought the sci-fi action boss level and action thriller gunpowder milkshake. Nice collection. And you take good care of them. Let me guess. You're the sentimental type. Romantic. In 2022, Yo stunned in the genre bending everything everywhere all at once. Seemingly ordinary laundromat owner Evelyn Wong is unlike any of the actress's other characters, and she tackled the challenge flawlessly. I've seen thousands of Evelyns. You can access all their memories, their emotions, even their skills. Evelyn is thrown into a bizarre multiversal adventure, where each alternate reality has a very different version. Her performance in this wild and wacky film garnered praise among fans and critics alike. Don't make me fight you, I am really good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Michelle Yeoh shows no signs of slowing down. The star has even more epic projects in the works, including the much-anticipated prequel series The Witcher Blood Origin. It was a magical shoot. I mean, hey, I got to play an elf, and I have green eyes. I look pretty cool. She's also teaming up with Shang-Chi director Destin Daniel Cretton again. This time, it's for the Disney Plus series American Born Chinese, based on Jean Luen Yang's graphic novel of the same name. What's more, the actress has two upcoming animated features, 
Minions, The Rise of Gru, and Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank. And as if joining the MCU and Star Trek franchises wasn't impressive enough, she's slated to appear in James Cameron's Avatar sequels as Dr. Karina Moog. We can't really talk very much about it, but I am just... It's James Cameron! Come on! I would be the tea lady for James Cameron. Michelle Yeoh's influence spans generations of movie lovers, and she continues to delight and inspire not only her fans, but her peers as well. If I can do it, then I want those little girls to say, I can do that too. And I think that is the most important message. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.